Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Rata K coming at you with another video. And mind my nails, they looking really, really crusty. Okay, so today's video is going to be a Q&A, so I'm going to be answering some questions that my friends and other people have asked me, and I hope that I answer them to my full attempt or full extent. I haven't done a Q&A video in a long time, like I've only done one Q&A video in, on my channel, and it was fun, but then... I kind of stopped because I was kind of like getting out of liking Q&A videos and I don't know so I just stopped so my friend requested a Q&A because she really wanted one um, so I was like yeah it's a cool YouTube video to shoot some cool content and I was running out of content so I was happy and Okay, I know I'm only mentioning this now and she wanted me to mention it a long, long time ago. The same friend who asked me to do this Q&A is the same friend who gave me this for my birthday gift last year. And she wanted me to feature it in the video of what I got for my birthday and I forgot. But like it was right there. I think it was like right there on my table but I just forgot to like show it. But she got me this um, scented candle. It smells really good. Um, yeah, it's in vanilla and I thought of lighting it today for the first time for this video but then I was like no I don't know I was just I don't know what I was thinking but I was just like yeah maybe next time for another video that I don't know makes sense my hair is pretty short right now but it's okay so i'm gonna go on to the questions i have the questions right here on my phone and i wrote them down too on my book i wrote them down in my book and i have them on my phone so i'm gonna be alternating between the two yeah so let's see what are the first oh what are, are your hobbies or things you like to do in your free time what are my hobbies or things i like to do in my free time mm. okay so that's practically kind of the same thing um but my hobby is dancing i love to dance dancing is just really nice and just like moving your body in like different ways it's just so amazing that your body is capable of doing more than you can think of so that's why i love dancing so my hobby is dancing i like to dance and plus tiktok has made dancing look so easy that like even when you like want to freestyle like a dance like not really on tiktok but just like a dance you freestyle it very nicely with those tiktok moves and wowing you know <laughs> it becomes so easy and so nice so dance is really awesome and the world is starting to come up with like different ways in which people can just express themselves in their creative ways so yeah dance definitely for me <coughs> okay second question is Okay, what would you say was the biggest weight lifted off you? Mm. What would I say was the biggest weight lifted off me? Sure, man, that's... <laughs> I know a lot of people always go, letting go of people's opinions is definitely the biggest weight that has been lifted. But for me, uh, I don't know, I don't think it's opinions. I think... Oh, gosh, I don't even know. I don't know how to answer that question. I honestly do not know sometimes the biggest weight i feel like can be like hmm. damn this is a thinker um the biggest weight that i that got lifted off me or what is the biggest weight that got lifted off me i think maybe losing certain people out of my life which made me like breathe more and like establish my circle better you know without those people and getting to know yourself yeah i don't know 
I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question. Um, do I have any new friends in varsity? Hmm. Um, yes, I do. I actually do have friends. And most, well, not most, but some. I don't know how to say it, but like two of my friends, we came from the same high school. So that was pretty easy for me to like establish my ground in varsity because I already had people that I already know and were already close to so it was pretty awesome so i never felt like that thing of like oh my gosh new place new um learnings and having to make new friends i already had like my normal not normal but i already have friends so when i got there i was not like in a rush to make friends but i did make friends um but i think i made one who i'm particularly close to um yeah and she's a girl if you guys are wondering like gender <laughs> okay and then i don't know what question i'm at now and then this question is have you met any guys yet i don't know what the person meant by that question have i met any guys yet but i would say no um yeah no it's a no i haven't met any guys yet no Mm -mm. I don't think so. How did you take the choice of where you wanted to go varsity wise? Um, I did not, varsity chose me, I did not choose it. Like the type, the varsity I'm at chose me, I did not choose it. That's that's what I say. Like it, it chose me. <laughs> I don't know, I just drifted towards it. It chose me, not me choose it. So yeah. Do you have a new church family? Oh, okay, so no, I do not have a new church family. I recently moved from Gauteng to Northwest, so obviously everything like changed. Like um, the friends I had back in Gauteng obviously are not in Northwest. Um, the church I went to, different. A lot of things changed, but I did not try to find. Well, I did try to find a new church actually, but then at the end I realized that I don't want to find a new church. I am fine with the church that I've been attending ever since I was like, what, 12? Not so long ago, but I've been attending, well, it's a long time. But I've been attending that church for like a long time and I don't want to change it. That's just on me. I do not want to change it and yeah, I am, I am fine with it. And I will just watch on YouTube if like, I want to watch a sermon or anything so I can always keep up with them so I don't have a new church family I'm still with my old family and I'm happy with them it's it's still nice I still feel like I'm part of the church even though I'm like so far away I don't feel like I am missing out on much yeah <laughs> okay favorite question does the pressure get to you sometimes and if so how are you coping oh pressure on school i'm guessing this was the pressure on school um because we're in varsity um does the pressure get to me yes it does it does it's, it's a lot of work that you're not used to like getting all piled up like in high school is so different from varsity like how you get the work sometimes in varsity they kind of like give you bits and pieces till you get to the end I mean in high school they give you bits and pieces till you get to the end and then varsity they kind of give you like the whole chunk if not half of the chunk um, and expect you to like do it in a certain period of time so it's definitely different but for me I cope how do I cope I cope well um, I, I, I would like to say I kind of try to cope and I also like um, have people who I can always ask questions and ask for help to help me on certain things that I do not understand and I'm trying to understand so I think that's like one way to cope with anything is just have people around you that can help you and ease the stress if it is stress or ease the pressure so that it doesn't feel like you are going through this all alone or you have so much packed in that you have to like carry by yourself so have people around that can help okay these are the last questions uh, I feel like I'm making this video so serious and it's so fun <laughs> I don't know why okay this question is for my friend she's like when are you gonna buy me a McFlurry um 
she owes me the McFlurry. I don't know why she's asking me for a McFlurry. Like, I owe her lunch, and I don't even owe her lunch. She just asked me to buy her lunch, and I didn't. So now she says I owe her lunch, so I guess I owe her lunch. But I don't owe her a McFlurry, because she owes me the McFlurry. So when are you buying me this McFlurry? Because I've been waiting. Um, but because of the corona quarantine, so... Makes sense why I haven't got it, but still. Um, what do you think about the length of the lectures? Oh, they're long. <laughs> they're so long. Oh my gosh. It's so different from high school. Like high school, you just be sitting for like 30 minutes or 42 minutes. My classes in high school were like 42 minutes, I think. So yeah, you're just sitting for that period, but in varsity, damn, they be long, long. <laughs> Um, but I've learned to just cope. I've learned to go in the lecture room with a different mindset, not with a mindset of, oh my gosh, I want this to end, but with a mindset of what am I going to learn today? Um, is what I'm going to learn today? Um, not is what I'm going to learn be, is it going to be fun, but whatever I learn today is going to be fun. So I forced myself to like have that mindset of this is going to be fun, even though it's not going to be fun. Um, but I just tell myself that it's going to be fun and I try to like, you know, encourage myself to be like, you can do this, you know, because you got to. So I just go in there with that thing. And obviously, like if you have your friend next to you, some things you guys can really don't like, oh my gosh, this person has been talking, you know, and it's like, <laughs> it's like something y'all can like vibe with and um, laugh with each other about. But no, the length, they're long, but I, I've learned to be okay with it so I'm okay I'm okay with the lens sometimes like it depends on how I'm feeling like if I'm hungry then I don't I don't like them because I'm just thinking about like, food I want to eat but if I'm like if I make sure I fill up good enough or fill up well before I go into the lecture yeah then I'm, I'm good to go um, so yeah, I hope I answered most of your questions um, that were asked. Um, I know I started pretty off like like I'm bored, like I'm sulky. I don't even know if you guys could hear me, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below on any videos you guys would like to see me do. And I will definitely do them, if not maybe do them. And yeah, I love you guys to the moon and back and never forget that. Um, yeah, I wanted to like try do like an outro, like a nice cute outro, but um, <laughs> I, I'm still planning on how I'm gonna do it. So, yeah, I love you guys. So, I'm back, like I already said. Bye.